वेलकम वी विल स्टार्ट विद सम बेसिक क्वेश्चन एंड देन गो इन डिटेल फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉट इज ड्राई ग्रेनुलेशन इन फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री ड्राई ग्रेनुलेशन इज ए प्रोसेस वेयर पाउडर पार्टिकल्स आर एग्रीगेटेड अंडर मैकेनिकल प्रेशर विदाउट यूजिंग लिक्विड बाइंडर्स द प्रोसेस इन्वॉल्व कॉम्पैक्शन दैट इज रोलर कॉम्पैक्शन और स्लगिंग फॉलोड बाय मिलिंग टू प्रोड्यूस फ्री फ्लोइंग ग्रैनुल्स की फीचर्स ऑफ ड्राई ग्रेनुलेशन आर नो ड्राइंग स्टेप रिक्वायर्ड lower risk of api degradation and it produces less dense granules compared to wet granulation method what are the main reasons for preferring dry granulation method over wet granulation first reason for drugs that are sensitive to moisture or heat we can't go for wet granulation method second reason is for simpler and faster process we prefer dry granulation over wet granulation in some cases what are the key steps in dry granulation first weighing and mixing of powders that is api and excipient second compaction using slugging or a roller compaction method third milling the compacted material to get uniform granules fourth sieving to ensure proper granule size fifth blending with other excipients and sixth compaction into tablets what are the key equipment used in dry granulation method a roller compactor slugging machine or tablet press milling machines sieves are the key equipments used in dry granulation method what are the key advantages and disadvantages of dry granulation first key advantage dry granulation method does not require drying secondly it is suitable for sensitive materials and saves time and energy there are few disadvantages also it includes it is may not as efficient as wet granulation as far as flow properties are concerned second it produces more dust and requires strong compactible materials what are the quality control tests followed for granules manufactured by dry granulation method first granule flowability by kars index or hosner ratio second particle size distribution by sieve analysis third tablet hardness and friability testing and fourth very important content uniformity and dissolution testing very frequently asked question compare dry granulation and wet granulation method you can refer below table to compare between dry granulation and wet granulation method the basic or important parameters are solvent used process time api compatibility and granule strength the very first important parameter is solvent used in case of dry granulation no liquid binder is used whereas in case of wet granulation water or alcohol based binders are used what are the two main techniques used in dry granulation method slugging and roller compaction are the two main techniques used in dry granulation slugging is a method where powders are compressed into large tablets or slugs and then milled into granules second is roller compaction a method where powders are passed between rollers to form a ribbon or sheet which is then milled into granules what are the two primary methods of dry granulation and how do they differ you can refer below table to differentiate between roller compaction or chilsonation with the slugging method of dry granulation how does dry granulation contribute to cost effectiveness in manufacturing dry granulation method reduces material waste eliminates drying requirement and enables continuous processing leading to lower production cost what are common evaluation parameters for granules produced by dry granulation granules are evaluated for density porosity moisture content friability and flow properties what excipients are commonly used in dry granulation formulations diluents dry binders lubricants disintegrants glidants and anti adherents are the commonly used excipients in dry granulation formulations the exact combination depends on api properties and desired tablet characteristics very important question what are the common challenges in dry granulation and how they are addressed you can refer below table for common challenges and their solutions the common challenges in dry granulation method are poor granule strength dust generation segregation sticking to rollers non uniform ribbons and low production yield how does the dry granulation process affect final tablet properties you can refer below table for positive and negative effects of dry granulation process over final tablet properties the key positive effect is it improves powder flow properties for better dry filling whereas the key negative effect is it may reduce tablet tensile strength as compared to wet granulation method 
what types of pharmaceutical products are most suitable for drug analysis? Moisture sensitive APIs, heat level compounds, high dose formulations, controlled release systems, direct compression blends, and effervescent products are the most suitable pharmaceutical products for drug analysis method. What are the key advantages of drug analysis for pharmaceutical manufacturing? Moisture avoidance, thermal protection, cost efficiency, process simplicity, regulatory benefits, and material flexibility are the key advantages of drug analysis for pharmaceutical manufacturing. Very important question How is granule quality controlled in drug analysis? First, by physical test, which includes bulk or tap density, particle size distribution, flow rate, and moisture content. Second, compression test, which includes tabletability profiles compatibility studies and ejection force measurements and third very important final product test which includes tablet hardness friability disintegration time and dissolution profile what are the effects of over lubrication in drug analysis excessive lubrication may cause reduced tablet strength longer disintegration poor content uniformity and sticking issues to avoid this we can add 50% at pre-compression stage and 50% at post-milling stage of drag annulation. How is dust controlled in drag annulation operations? We can put engineering controls, process solutions and formulation approaches to control dust during drag annulation operations. Why do we observe increased tablet fiability after drag annulation? You can refer below table for common causes and their solutions in case of increased tablet friability after drag annulation. The common causes include over compaction, excessive fines, insufficient binder and poor lubrication. How do you handle hygroscopic APIs in drag annulation? We can implement the following control strategy to handle hygroscopic APIs in drag annulation. This control strategy includes environmental control, formulation control, process controls and packaging controls. What is the best way to recycle fines in drag annulation? Blend back at less than 20% of total batch, recycle point pre-compression blending stage, critical checks contain uniformity flow properties and avoid recirculating fines more than three times. How often should roller compactors be calibrated? Pressure sensors quarterly, speed controls biannually, feed screws, monthly wear inspections, and full IQ or PQ when relocated or after major repairs. How to prevent capping in tablets made via drag annulation? Reduce roller pressure, add plastic excipients, optimize milling and adjust tableting to prevent capping in tablets made via drag annulation. How do you clean roller compactors between products? The standard procedure of cleaning of roller compactors includes dry cleaning, wet cleaning and verification by Visual inspection, swab testing, or TOC analysis if aqueous cleaning. What are the most common mistakes in drag annulation? Top 5 errors to avoid during drag annulation are first, over lubrication, second, ignoring environmental RH, third, inadequate milling, fourth, skipping compaction profile studies, and fifth, not monitoring roller wear. Very important question, which guidelines are commonly referred for drag annulation in the pharmaceutical industry? ICH Q8, Q9, Q10, USP Chapter Number 1062, WHO TRS 1010, EMA Process Validation Guideline, FDS PAT Guidance, EDQM Granule Manufacturing, ISO and GAM 5 Guidelines are the guidelines that are very commonly referred for drag annulation in the pharmaceutical industry. Don't forget to like, comment and share. Subscribe to channel for more informative videos related to our pharmaceutical industry.